How do you this not cut is your fingers? Fit this into that. We're making um pierogies. <laughs> a Polish dish. I'm not doing anything. They're doing all the work. So I don't know how to cook, guys. <laughs> so we have my free cooking teacher. She about to teach me how to dice, dice or slice, dice. We're gonna dice some onions. <laughs> I don't want to be goggles, so I'm gonna like cry my eyes out. <laughs> so I'm just cutting in strips like this. Oops. We didn't see That's that. Okay. That just came off. But I just. Slice <laughs> is going on. <laughs> and then I'm cutting the opposite way. So ending up with like all these strips. How do you just not cut is your fingers? You know? You know I slice my hand. So if we wanted to do strips, I could just cut it off here. But to yeah, dice it. Like this is the fun part. Ready. You just. That's it. Wow. And then it just comes off and it's like ready. Yeah. And that is it. Wow. And I didn't cry. Oh my god. You didn't cry. Why am I crying? I'm gonna cry in like three seconds probably. Yeah, probably. That's what's okay. happening. I did all the work, but hey. Oh, no. Apparently this is the best concoction. Okay! <laughs> yeah! It was like, okay, well someone can um it's for the aesthetic. <laughs> Taste test. Here's the pierogi in real time. Wow, everything's falling off. I'm gonna eat it like a taco. Is that a flavor? Yeah, and texture's good too. Oh wow, yeah. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I like this. <laughs> So we made it home safely. As you can see, I'm back in my apartment, my lovely apartment that I missed so much. So I'm really happy about that. I did not touch anything from my luggage last night, but now it's time to get to packing. Three luggages right now that I need to take the time today to unpack. I'm not going to church today, so I'm gonna spend the whole day unpacking. I'm also gonna FaceTime my cousin while I'm doing that so I don't get bored. But let me show you a little bit of like what's going on down there. So we mostly have clothes in this backpack, so that's not gonna be hard to unpack. And then in this one as well, I have like clothes and some other things like shoes. But this one, everyone look here, everyone look at this. Okay. So basically, since I'm a broke college student, I had to come up with a strategy to save up on some food and grocery money while I'm here for the first few weeks so that when I work, I can like rack the money up. So my father let me take a lot of stuff from our pantry, dry goods and non-perishable stuff, and bring it here to Texas so that I have something to eat, but I also don't spend that much money on like food and groceries when I get here so that I can start saving up and stuff. So that luggage right there is going to be the hardest to understand pack because we don't have a lot of room for our pantry space and I'm not gonna take up anyone else's space I'm gonna try and compact it as much as possible but I'm just really worried that there are a lot of stuff there that aren't gonna fit it's a lot so I'm gonna get to unpacking may the Lord help me today okay the Lord needs to help me today
now we have this guy right here and um, I don't, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't wanna deal with it right now, but I have to. Other than that, I'm making good progress, but that's gonna be hell on earth, I already know, so. Pray for me guys. We're gonna get it done today, no matter what. So this is my shelf space right now. I have the last shelf on the pantry. So we each have our own shelf. And so mine's is this last one right here. And we have this stuff right here. You gotta try and fit this into that. And you know what? I don't think it's impossible. It looks difficult, but I don't think it's impossible. And then if you saw, there was some room on the bottom as well. So I'll probably try and kind of push it into a corner. I think it's doable. It's just gonna take some strategy and logic, like a Tetris game, you know what I mean? It's a game and I'm ready to play, okay? Okay, let me stop. Okay, this is the finished result. So with ease, honestly, I was able to fit everything. That's my corner over there that I stacked like all the extra stuff under, but I was able to fit everything that I brought from the plane in this pantry. So I'm really happy right now. Anyway, I'm gonna clean the house and then probably edit a few things. Yeah, that's it. I wanna do like a house cleaning video at some point. Cause I love cleaning, but that's a, we'll, we'll figure that out. It is the next day, it is Monday today, the last day before school starts. So school starts tomorrow, this is our last day off, it's MLK day. But nevertheless, I still have some errands to run. I'm actually about to head on to campus right now to print out all of my syllabi for the semester and plan out my school schedule. And then I gotta get my COVID test before tomorrow just so that they can verify that I'm negative for COVID. I don't know what else I'm doing today. So y'all are just gonna have to find out. I'm headed over to campus right now and I'm gonna do those two things and then we'll continue on our day. We are back on campus and it feels really good to be back. Student Life Center right there. It's a good day at Baylor University. Change of plans. I just went and got my COVID test out of the way. All the buildings are closed on campus right now, like pretty much most of them. And so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to print all of my syllabi and everything. So it looks like I'm taking about six classes this semester for a total of 16 hours. I'm not happy about that, but it's fine. I'm trying to find where these people's syllabuses, syllabi are, but I can't find some of these syllabus things like i'm really confused of course accounting has to be the complicated one we made progress guys i found the accounting syllabus and now all i need is my theater classes syllabus um i don't know where in the world that would be you know it don't have to be this complicated people it really doesn't yeah, i'm over it i'm so over it I'm gonna give up. 